I recognize that there are concerns about the size and power of tech companies. Our services are about connection and our business model is advertising and we face intense competition in both. Many of our competitors have hundreds of millions or billions of users. Some are upstarts, but others are gatekeepers with the power to decide if we can even release our apps in their app stores to compete with them. Customers have a lot of choices and that our products face fierce competition. Companies like Samsung, LG, Huawei, and Google have built successful businesses with different approaches. We're okay with that. Our goal is the best, not the most. In fact, we don't have a dominant share in any market or in any product category where we do business. We have a very limited presence in China. We don't offer any of our services, search, maps, Gmail, YouTube, etc. in China. And with respect to music, we license content there. In fact, we license content from other companies. And so this is a dispute between Genius and the other companies. Mr. Bezos, did you personally sign off on the plan to raise prices after Amazon eliminated its competition? I don't remember uh, that at Thank all. Uh, Thank what you. I remember is that we we we, we matched competitive prices, and we I believe we followed Diapers.com. Again, this is 11 years ago, so you're asking a lot of my memory. But I believe we followed Diapers.com. I can also tell you after we bought Diapers.com, okay, we put Just more than 300 on. million dollars into trying to make zero. it successful. I'm sorry. In your own words, you purchased Instagram to neutralize a competitive threat. If this was an illegal merger at the time of the transaction. Why shouldn't Instagram now be broken off into a separate company? I think the FTC had all of these documents and reviewed this and unanimously voted at the time not to challenge the acquisition. I mean, I think with hindsight, it probably looks like obvious that Instagram would have reached the scale that it has today, but at the time it was far from obvious. There's a competition for developers just like there's a competition for customers. And so the competition for developers they can write their apps for Android or Windows or Xbox or PlayStation. So we have fierce competition at the developer side and the customer side, which is a, which is essentially, it's so competitive, I would describe it as a street fight for market share in the smartphone business. What do you have to say uh, to the small businesses who are talking to Congress because you simply won't listen to them? Well, I say that's not acceptable. If we aren't listening to you, uh, I'm not happy about that at all. And I, but I do, I would, you know, if you allow me to disagree a little bit with a piece of this, I do not think that's systematically what's going on. And the evidence that I would suggest would be useful for you to consider in that regard is that uh, third party sellers in aggregate are doing extremely well on Amazon. Just like other businesses, we try to understand trends from, uh, you know, uh, data which we can see and we use it to improve our products for our users, uh, but we are really focused on improving our products. Facebook cloned a popular product, approached the company you identified as a competitive threat and told them that if they didn't let you buy them up, there would be consequences. Uh, were there any other companies that you uh, use the same tactic with while attempting to buy them? I want to respectfully disagree with the characterization. I think it was it was clear that this was a space that we were going to uh, compete in one way or another. I don't view those conversations as a threat in any way. When customers consistently give iPhone a 99% satisfaction rating, that's the message they're sending about the user experience. But we also know that customers have a lot of choices and that our products face fierce competition. When Google bought YouTube, they could compete against the dominant player in video, which is the cable industry. When Amazon bought Whole Foods, they could compete against Kroger's and Walmart. When Facebook bought WhatsApp, we could compete against telcos who used to charge 10 cents a text message, but not anymore. Now people can watch video, get groceries delivered, and send private messages for free. That's competition.